With the start of the landmark trial finally here, some of Fox News' biggest stars could be taking the stand in the coming weeks, along with company heads, including 92-year-old Fox Corporation chairman Rupert Murdoch. At the center of the case, 20 statements following the 2020 presidential election. President Trump's lawyers were repeated guests on Fox News, claiming Dominion voting machines rigged the election. The machine ran an algorithm that shaved votes from Trump and awarded them to Biden. At the center of it all, Dominion voting systems. Uh, are they the culprit here? Not the only culprit, but are they the principal culprit? All of the allegations false, Judge Eric Davis says. Writing in a recent decision, the evidence was crystal clear. None of the statements relating to Dominion about the 2020 election are true. But Dominion will have to prove actual malice, that Fox published lies knowingly or with reckless disregard for the truth. A necessary standard for a democracy, say legal experts. Otherwise, we're going to create a chilling effect where it's actually hard for people to get information. According to court documents, Fox News argues it gave context and informed their audience at every turn that the allegations were just allegations. In a statement, Fox News saying Dominion's lawsuit is a political crusade in search of a financial windfall. But the real cost would be cherished First Amendment rights. Less than two weeks after the election, Fox was facing a backlash. Audience numbers down by more than 30 percent, according to court documents. November 12th, the Fox White House correspondent challenged Mr. Trump's claims about the election. Tucker Carlson texted Sean Hannity, please get her fired. It's measurably hurting the company. The stock price is down. The text part of a mountain of evidence that has been released publicly. Fox argues much of it cherry-picked to hurt the network's reputation. A rare behind-the-scenes look after one of the country's most contentious elections. One of the key questions in this trial is going to be who had editorial control over these broadcasts. The judge explicitly said that Dominion's challenge is going to be connecting that person or people to these specific shows in question. Savannah, back to you. Stephanie Gosk at the courthouse. Thank you, Stephanie. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.